Hi, I'm Estelle from Digital Schoolhouse and you're watching Binary Playing Cards from our series of follow-along computing activities taken from the book How to Raise a Tech Genius. To all learners watching, remember you can pause the video at any time to take notes, collect your thoughts or take part in the activity alongside me. Parents and guardians, you may want to watch the next bit as it explains what resources are needed, but after that feel free to join in or sit nearby to supervise if you want to. This activity is unplugged, meaning it teaches computing without the use of any digital technology. In fact, all you will need is a standard pack of playing cards, a notepad or paper, and a pen or pencil. If you don't have access to playing cards at home, then you can take part in this activity using just pen and paper. Feel free to pause the video now to collect all your resources together. In binary playing cards, you'll be learning how numbers are represented in binary. You'll also be learning how to model a real world physical system and also how computer systems communicate. More about that later. From your standard pack of cards, find the following cards. One, two, four and eight. Now I'm using an ace to represent the number one. You won't need the rest of your cards, so you can put them to one side. You'll next need to get your piece of paper or your notepad and write out the following numbers. So from the far right hand side, you're going to write one, two, four, and then eight. These represent the place values in binary. Then you're going to place the relevant card underneath the place value. So ace under one, the number two under the number two, the four under the four, and the eight underneath the eight. Now what we're going to do is when the card is placed face up, it represents a one. So this would be one, 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 which would give us the number 15 if we converted it from binary to decimal because eight plus four plus two plus one is the number 15. If we turn over our cards, then they would represent a zero. So this would be the number one, 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 zero in binary, which would give us a value of eight plus four plus two, which gives us the number 14 in decimal. Let's try one more. Let's turn over the number eight. So that would give us zero, one, one, zero. And this would equal the number six in decimal, four plus two. Now, once you're feeling quite confident with this, you can actually take the cards away and just use the binary number. So for example, we could do one, one, zero, zero. And then all we do is we add the numbers where the ones are together. So eight plus four, is the number 12. So 1100 zero, zero is the number 12 in decimal. In this activity, you've learned how binary place value works. Just like in decimal, the place value of the number on the far right is always one. Unlike decimal, each new additional place value added to the left of this number is double the previous place value. One, then two, then four, and then eight, but in reverse order. 8, 4, 2, 1. A 1 or 0 is then used to represent whether to include that place value in the total or not. Let's look at a couple of examples. 1, 1, 1, 1 means add all the place values together to equal 15. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 equals 15. The number 1, 0, 1, 0 means add 8 and 2 to equal 10. Thank you for taking part. I hope you've had fun and learnt something new. If you've enjoyed binary playing cards, check out the book How to Raise a Tech Genius for more ingenious computing activities and ideas of how you can take this activity further. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please email dsh at uk. Now we'd love to see you learning computing at home with Digital Schoolhouse. Parents and guardians, please feel free to share any images or videos using the hashtag computing at home. You can do that on Twitter or on Facebook. Lastly, I wanted to say a huge well done for taking part today. I'm Estelle and I look forward to seeing you next time.